Okay, cool. So this is a part five, and in this part we are going to give our AI to knowledge. So as we planned that our AI can find random of the sort or the pickup box, okay, or the tray. So once he find the good the one of the random tray, and if he could find his item that he's looking for, then he basically get the item and pay us then go back to exit and if he didn't find the particular item that he is looking for from the first tray he will find again in a random tray he'll be go there try to find if it's still not he will basically leave this store okay cool so now first we have to give the command to our ai that the ai can find the tray <coughs> so to do it let's go to here uh, in our NPCs that the successful on um, thinking so here because we give a command to think once it's here and he notice which particular item he's looking for after that <coughs> we'll be give it here a delay <coughs> uh, or finish the execution okay now once the execution is finished now we can come to our second task which is find the tray so create a new task uh, with okay and we'll be give this thing name is find right so in the find tray system we'll be get execution <clears throat> with the AI cast to AIAC let's give it a variable will we do the same process AI move to pawn will be basically the self character and the target direction is going to be the tray so now our AI once you find it we have to make it a random thinking system or find the tray system so let's create a custom event called find tray so instead of find tray, it will be again get all actor from class and it will be basically find the tray. So BP all tray. So from there we'll be get a random array of item and this will be our tray. So tray, tray done. So this particular thing is our tray. <clears throat> now instead of our find tray, we'll be call this thing that find Ray. okay the particular thing is here so now we also he know that which particular tray he need to find and once he know the, the tray that he's looking for from the variable we can get the tray data so tray tray uh, data i guess it was tree uh, r a y data yeah tree data and we'll be giving give it the reference okay now we can give it a data equal to 50 and okay let me just save this variable inside of our ac so we are able to access it from here okay fine so now it's going to be find the tray which is particularly okay it's going to find any of the random uh tray so if i show you from this thing we have to basically task find tray and here we go will we give that finish execution have I and I switch it success or even fail it's going to be success you know now if I click on play you will be see it's thinking and it's going to finding the random tray Okay, and you can see it's basically doing looping stuff and it's basically become a problematic. Why? It's basically uh, it's finding the accurate things, but I'm one more precisely. Let's give it a five value. So we'll be finding a particular thing. So you can see it's find that particular location <laughs> than it should be. But there's a problem. You can see once it's find the tray. It's always picking the same tray that it's which is not should be. So in the find tray, let's see what is the problem here. 
in the final tree, we give it the, the random uh, uh, tray he or she have to give. And this is actually the tray location. Uh, we don't want the player, the NPCs to come here. We want the player able to come here, okay? Or the NPC will come here and overlap with this one. To do it, we want more precisely value. So the precise value will be we have to add a collision or some sort of data from this box collision. So instead from a tray, because we have a tray data with the, which is basically a full actor class, from there we can get box which is a box collision. If you remember in our couple of past video, we added this box one the collisions basically it's have from that we can get a location of it and we can now redirect it to that same location okay so now and uh, also let me for now uh, i'm just keep it in a finish so it won't give in the next stage it will be stay hold there let's see what it do Okay, you can see like now it's basically doing that what I'm looking for. It's going that particular location that it should be. Okay, see, it's going that this exact location that I want. Okay, now at here, I'm going to do one more thing in the find post is done. Zone is also okay. NPC, let me just keep it. Okay, in the find tray. Now, once it's success, I want to give it delay, like a random delay. Suppose like a delay of a uh, random range of float. Suppose like a one seconds to four seconds, or like a particularly in time it need maybe need five seconds. Okay, if five seconds after it could be dead off. Okay. Now, if I click on play. Cool. It's waiting for five seconds, three seconds, and it's going to be, and it's going to be again in a second. And if it's didn't, it's going to be stay for the position. Okay. And there, what you are looking for, the tray system is done because it's a totally a class. So it's not that which particular item it is, it has to be. And now, because also we have to keep it in mind inside of our tray data. The tray know that which particular item the tray has. Okay, like if it's uh and it's sort of if I say like bottle or it's a potato or it's a tomato. What is it? It's know the data. Okay, because it's know the data. So from this variable, this is kind of like a sort. Okay. This is for sort bottle, this is for tomato, this is for potato. Okay, we can make it more dynamic, but I'm not going on that way right now. So because we know the booleans is true is equals to it's have the data. So in our tray. <clears throat> so in the tray, sorry, not in the tray, in our BP, you know the data, the tray, which tray it need to find. Okay, and after the find, it's basically uh, finding the tray, it's giving an execution. Now here, we need a one more custom event to grab the item. So let's custom event that grab tray item. If it's equals that his needed item. Okay, so if the needed item equals whatever tray data it is if it's equals so from there now there's a particular problem what type of problem now if we remember our player is only assigning the boolean not any actor class might let me just check again and let me get up come from so this is our thing yep see it's basically or uh, BP food as a BP food and uh, once ever I'm near of that uh, BP tray okay I'm basically overlapping it because it's working automatically 
So it's checking all of the item. It's removing for me and attaching to a chair on particular sort. Okay. So it's actually not basically removing for me. It's basically directly attaching. Okay. And now a chair because it's attaching everything. I have to keep that uh, item so I can bring that particular items to my customer. So we'll be create a here a items variable and let's give it name that BP would object this is the variable type let's give it that in an array then the variable type okay because it's an array now if it's it's removing from here that particular like it's signing anything okay and you can see there's a research slot are also available for every each of item okay so at here if it's a sorting or not blah blah sting but now because it's adding hey we already have an item what the hacking pp uh what something is happened okay Hmm. Okay, in the item that I'm seeing that Wally for key oh shit it's for the my player this is a tray one yeah uh so from here the food that we know here is from here the actor reference that it's trying to say the food type it's a whatever food it is from the array it's basically removing that particular item um, because it's on the single value coming from here it's basically attaching or deattaching and after that uh, it's basically resorting the sort like if it's needed like because it's already picked from my hair so at every hair we can in the items which is basically our current food we can add them that is the thing so add a unique item for each and everything so like here and here and guys because it's a dynamic one okay you have to understand it's coming from here it's not coming from this particular branch it's coming from directly which is basically those subs function are using so it's going to be work like a dynamic code and here okay cool now the in our BP tray we know that which particular item this thing picked. So from tray we can get the items. Uh, let me just save the tray data. Okay, and come back here. Now this is the tray data, so we can ask him the item data, which is get. And for each loop here we can do a each loop thing each loop item if it's equals equals if it's equals okay so it's more like if the needed item is there that it's looking for it's going to be do that and from the item it's going to be removed that particular item okay so if it's true it's going to be removed from it uh before remove it should be attached to our player <clears throat> okay so Mm -hmm. I'll sell it okay we can just remove it and destroy it that is the most easiest way to do it so it's going to be uh, remove it from that particular item so let me just give a prime like here if it's true it's going to be removed after that it's going to be destroyed that actor particularly once it's removed done so it's a, because it's a function type parameter so let me just we add a little distractor and voila <coughs> the system is now okay now also one more thing we have to do in a bp tray you have to understand which particular item it's basically taken and the sort is basically it's peak that is a, now a problem okay our code has basically a issue the issue is basically the item basically assigning okay but the item doesn't contain which sort 
are they? Okay. For example, you can see the targeted sort and resort. We are sorting that from our player one. Okay. But after once I removing from here, this particular thing don't know are these foodies here or there or which one. So there's a problem. It's going to be the boolean query to keep it true. We have to keep it someone, somewhere, somewhere false. 